Salmon and trout populations are vital to Lake Michigan's ecosystem, and a Sheboygan County hatchery is making sure the fish are able to thrive. Meteorologist Gina Recchia goes behind the scenes for a look at the efforts to ensure a healthy future for the Great Lake. At Kettle Moraine Springs Hatchery in Sheboygan County, hundreds of thousands of trout and salmon are raised each year. People like hatchery supervisor Annie Huron play a critical role in maintaining Lake Michigan's fish population. Kettle Moraine Springs raises 340,000 steelhead for Lake Michigan. We stock 25 different tributaries that go into Lake Michigan. We also incubate and spawn all of the coho salmon that go into Lake Michigan. These efforts are much more than just stocking fish. They're a vital part of maintaining balance in the lake's delicate ecosystem. We want to have the right number of predators uh, and match that up with available forage so that we provide a, a great sustainable fishery into the future and we don't overtax the prey. Bradley Edgold is a Great Lakes District Fishery Supervisor. He says maintaining this balance is a complex task. Groups working together to protect the health of the Great Lake. We got a lot of cooperators around the lake. All the state agencies, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the U.S. Geological Survey and many other partners are out there each and every day looking at both sides of the equation. For the team at the hatchery, the most rewarding part is seeing the impact of their work on the community. I see the eggs come in, uh, then they're going through the incubation stage, through the early rearing stage, to the, the grow out stage and ultimately stocking it. And I love hearing the reports of people catching them out on Lake Michigan. By ensuring a trout population on Lake Michigan, this hatchery sustains an ecosystem for future generations. Reporting in Sheboygan County, meteorologist Gina Recchia, WISN 12 News. The salmon eggs used at Kettle Moraine Springs come from two other hatcheries in Wisconsin, in Kiwani and Racine.